What is going on viewers of YouTube Sunspot here and I am back with another Hot Toys First Look video. Whew, this guy is pretty impressive. I really do like the look of this guy. Just jumping in really quick because I tend to keep these videos generally short. I do love the chrome. The chrome does look nice. It's really only on the face plate and here on the thighs and just a tad bit on his bicep there, which is fine um, because it brings a really nice contrast to the, um, it's kind of a shiny apple red and then kind of a plat or a matte gold right there. It's a bit more silver on camera, but the gold right here is much brighter in person. But as you can tell, this is the exact same mold as the Mark 15 Sneaky. Um, this is the Sideshow exclusive, in case you didn't know. And it's, yeah, it's even titled the Mark 15, only the retro Sneaky armor. And that's really what it is. They're doing the same thing with Bones right now. But I must say that this brings a lot of contrast to my collection, simply because I don't have an Iron Man with uh, chrome gold, which is always cool to have because that um, Midas armor that was released in Japan, that exclusive, that was chrome gold, that's impossible to get. So this will definitely suffice. Just getting, look in there. You could easily see me in there. That's how shiny this is. And the LEDs look, work beautifully, as you can tell. I do love the shape of the arc reactor. And the stand is just a simple display stand. If you haven't watched my unboxing, I do talk about in there how I do prefer these compared to dynamic stands because spatial issues. But yeah, look, it works just, just an awesome figure. And I, I can actually take this off here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks even cooler, actually. Just a really nice figure. I mean, look at the amount of detail they put in there. That is really impressive. So yeah, and to put it back, just, you know, slip it back on. It stays on tight. Um, as far as his accessories go, that's it. He comes with hands uh, and an instructional booklet, which I'm not going to get into. But yeah, so these are his, you know, repulsor blasting hands, pretty bare, and the, you know, the fisted hands. Um, not much. You pay a lot for this figure, and really you're only paying for the figure, you're not paying for accessories. And the box, although it looks nice, it's really no different than other uh, exclusives or just in general the other Iron Legion figures you might have picked up already. It's a really impressive figure. Um, let me give actually a 360 because I don't think I've uh, shown that. Just really nice. I do love that a lot. More of that matte gold back there which I think fits. Just an overall good looking figure. I originally did love the sneaky armor simply because it was so different. We've been getting so many repaints, and yet another repaint has been released, but, you know, even though we've gotten this mold, I still feel like it's a breath of fresh air. For me, at least. People, other people, collectors might think differently. Um, but yeah, just a really nice figure. I love this a lot. I can't get it to focus, either. Um, I'm not sure why they gave this kind of stand here i would have much preferred well like i said in the video i prefer these stands yes but i would have preferred if they gave us something else to suffice the price a bit more considering you pay a lot for this figure kind of a nice gesture because a lot of the times uh hot toys not with their iron man figures but they give you two stands they give you a dynamic and then they give you a display or a museum pose stand like we have here. I would have liked both. I would have probably end up using this simply because, again, space, and I would only want the other ones just to know that I have it, the option is there, and I paid a lot of money, so I can have choice in the matter, you know? I'm not committed to something. And I'm committed to this stand, which is unfortunate. It's a, it's a really nice stand. You can tell there's a nice artwork right there. But that's all you got. You got no other choice. I mean, yeah, you can use other Hot Toys stands, but none of them are going to say, you know, the Mark 15 Sneaky or Retro Sneaky, whatever, um, which is unfortunate. But, you know, this is what you get. So, honestly, and I'm not sure if I'll review this yet, depends on time. Um, but if you are a hardcore Iron Man fan, if you're a hardcore Iron Man collector especially, 
I guess you have no choice in this matter, do you? Because this is a really nice looking figure. And I tend to collect most, if not all of these, or as much as I can at least. And uh, I, I do want the retro Bones armor, or whatever they're calling it now. Um, that's not out for a while, but this will suffice for now. And like I said, the Chrome Gold is nice. And, you know, he's obviously, as the name suggests, he's retro. He's um, like the original, you know, because the original Iron Man, um, he didn't really have too much. I mean, maybe a little bit right here, but the faceplate was the only gold. Same with the biceps and the thighs here. Everything else was basically a red, but maybe I'm just thinking of the Ron Iron Man. You know, there's a ton of different ones. So I really do like this figure. Yes, it's very expensive. Yes, they commit to you to only one stand and... The accessories are a joke, but it's a nice figure. So, again, if you're a hardcore Iron Man fan, collector of that specific franchise, and you've been getting all the Iron Legion stuff, might as well pick this up, I guess. And with that said, people, if you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, comment, check out my site at sunspotreviews.com, and I will see you guys in my next video.